Hi, my name is Tyler. I'm a radiology resident at OHSU, but I've been dabbling in graphics for a while. In the process of creating my own 3D reconstruction software, I implemented both a marching cubes and a ray tracing technique using Visual Basic and Slim DX. Uh, the marching cubes technique is an adaptation of the Lopes and Broadley technique, which was published in uh, Triple E in 2003. Uh, the citation is below. To check my ray tracer, I decided to compare it side by side to each of the marching cubes cases. On the left is the marching cube surface representation, and on the right is the ray traced isosurface for the same data set. The cubes at the corners represent the individual voxel values. The diamonds on the faces represent the face saddle points, and the spheres within the cube represent the body saddle points. The various shapes will be white if the point is above the isosurface value, or gray if it's below the isosurface value. As the scene changes cases, the label of the new case is displayed at the bottom. These correspond to the Lopes and Broly cases. The first number differentiates cases that differ at the corners. The second number further designates case subsets by their differing face saddle values. The third number designates further subsets that differ by the internal saddle values. If you're using this video as a visual aid to understand the case scenarios, I recommend fast forwarding to and pausing on the complicated cases. If you're a friend just browsing the video, fast forward to the end. The most complicated cases are also the most visually interesting. Thanks to the Slim DX development team and to Poddington Bear and Jason Shaw for the music. Enjoy!